hi guys welcome to my uh, youtube channel cash tag my name is Mohammed Kashif and today I will give you a short introduction how to read the production uh, panel schematics so today what I have chosen is drawing is of 132 kb uh, production panel uh, it's a line production panel so welcome to my channel and we will now go to see how we can uh, uh, read these drawings so first of all I will open the drawing uh, this is the drawing cover sheet so it's describing about the project which is in my case gets former and the consultant which is OMS and this contractor which is Park Electron uh, here you can see in the title the project name and the one to give you line E01 relay panel plus R3 uh, revision here is revision 1 which is most important which revision we are working you have to always uh, to care about this the sheet you, here you can see the sheet uh, cover sheet is or all the two sheets on the drawings are divided in column and rows so column from 1 to 8 and the rows are A to H so this is the uh, uh, division so in the next slides i will show you how these are used for giving references okay now we will move to the next sheet which is uh, basically a cover sheet first of all it was cover sheet sheet number one sheet number two is list of contents and this is uh, showing all uh, sheets available in the drawing for example I want to see where is list of operators in the drawing I can just instead of checking all the pages I will come up to the list of contents and I can see this is the list of operators here if I want to see where is the main DC of the panel I can see this is supply distribution and I will go immediately to sheet number 20 so this is the fastest and easiest way to read the and understand the drawing okay so here you can see revision numbers here the sheet number one is revision number one uh, for example it is possible that when the new revision will be issued only specific sheet will be transferred to new revision and so immediately you can see which sheets are revised in the new revision so instead of checking all the sheet and finding what is the difference using this sheet you can find always which sheets are revised similarly uh, you can find as manufacture as build it can be marked here so we will now move to our next sheet so what is it about general characteristics in short I will give you a brief review here for example the mounting of this apparatus is fixed um, connections are two terminals not direct for example lighting system you will find direct terminals connections uh, you can find here vt circuit the thickness of the wire should be 2.5 mm and the ct should be 6 mm here you can find uh, for our thing there you, you will use 4 mm wire so similar information you can find here AC supply is at 230 volt, PT is 100, CT is 1 ampere rated. So, general information here you can find. So, this is very useful sheet just for study purposes. So, then we move to the next sheet, which is most important, which is related to symbols and legends. So, if you are in practice so you don't need to just know these symbols you already knowing these symbols uh, but if you have uh, any confusion you can always come back to the symbols and legend sheet and then you can just understand which she, which uh, sheet is which symbol is which and which code even you can find here these are for example line distance protection if f is for device and 21 is a nc code all the protection uh, devices are named by some NC code and you can find this NC code if you just google it I have to type in already here NC code for relays so one option is you can go wiki another option is you can go to the G grid and you will find this PDF 
so where we are okay 21 is distance relay i can easily check from it so for protection relay they should be familiar with this code these codes nc is also giving some information i will check okay 21 is distance which is the, my favorite relay and you can find the code here so in this you can save this sheet and then you can keep with you and just read and then understand the symbols try to memorize them okay so here you can find circuit breaker symbol and the device number then you can find load break switch difference between circuit breaker and load break circuit breaker can break the circuit if the fault current exceeds the predetermined value where is load break switch it can break the current but manually so it will not trip automatically so i will not go further more in details 21 is a distance relay 27 is a dc supervision relay this is the circuit di this is the diagram for ct this is the this is a symbol for vt so you can find all symbols here this is the lighting arrestor symbol so this is the uh, basically ground symbol so this is ac bell this is dc bell this is siren this is hooter so this is very interesting now we will move to the single lag diagram and this is single diagram is giving you overall overview and it is basically giving you uh, good information about the system for example this is a bus bar which is designed at 132 kV, rated current is 2500 ampere, short circuit current capacity is 40 kilo ampere for 3 seconds, 50 hertz is the frequency and this is 3 phase bus bar. Ease one is the bay number, this is the line isolator and you can see I switch together, it's motor operated. Then you have a circuit breaker with the capacity of 1250 ampere and 40 kilo ampere short, short time rating. Then you can find uh, a CT, uh, direction of CT P1 is towards bus and P2 is towards line. So if in this case if you make a star point at S2 when P2 is facing line then it will be star point towards line. And you make a star point at 1 P S1 then the star then star point it means is towards bus. So we will further discuss this when we will be discussing protection settings this is just information okay now here this core number one is a metering core i will a little bit zoom in and then you can always see the class here for metering is fs accuracy class 0.2 so 0.2 percent error is allowed or it's available permissible or rated uh, CT ratio are available 1200 800 600 by 1 so at present I have chosen 800 it means the uh, selection is 800 what does it mean is if 800 ampere current primary current will flow the second current will be feed to the relay will be 1 ampere or metering it will be 1 ampere so what I will do in my metering when I will receive 1 ampere I will configure that it will show 800 primary current on the display so it will receive 0.5 ampere the display will show 400 ampere so how this is how the system is working so next core is connected to I will just zoom out next core is connected to transformer uh, this line differential relay uh, 87 and distance relay Another core is connected to over current relay. So, a little bit I will zoom in. You can see it is connected to 5 1. Okay, the third relay is connected to bus bar and breaker failure protection. So, it, it, it can be seen in the bus bar drawing. I will zoom out further. You can see that this relay is giving tripping uh, line protection relay is giving tripping to TC1, trip coil 1, trip coil 2. It, it is also giving annunciation and uh, at local control panel and it is also annunciation is going to SCADA so this is how the system is working and here you can find line at switch Q9 and with the motor 
and earth earthing system it is more tries as switch it's a high speed or switch because uh, the cable it has a lot of charge so in the GIS if the closing time is more they our opening time is more than it this will be a huge uh, charging current or spark and it so it's always a good idea to to have a uh, more twice so high speed or switch to avoid this oh this is the VT and this VT is connected to the metering and another core is connected to line protection so this is how the single line diagram you can read this is the line link resistor so this is some brief introduction about the single line diagram so further now we will move to our next sheet which is list of operators what is uh, basically advantage here is for example i want to find the mlfe number or ordering code of any relay so if somebody asks you just go to list of operators here you can find at the end this is distance relay nowhere is mentioned here it is mentioned here in description so uh, you will find this code this code is uh, ordering code of the relay using this code you can find exactly what functions are available in the relay and what is the voltage levels supply voltage levels for 3d voltage levels for this relay not only this relay that if all the type of the relays small mcbs auxiliary relays terminal blocks you can find manufacturer name which sheet number this is shown all the detail is shown on sheet number 90 okay so at the end if you go at the end of the drawing i will show you you will find this detail of the this relay showing the all the ct input vt input binary input and output of the relays okay further you uh, next sheet you will find ac supply ac distribution uh, in the ac distribution you will find that supply is coming from ac panel in the red, if you are making red mark the interface you can see here is missing so you can make a red mark which mcb is feeding this uh, ac distribution or it's coming from adjacent panel you have to just mark here so this supply is connected to lighting through f101 mcb it's a miniature circuit breaker and the contact uh, these are the auxiliary contact of f101 the same mcb and these are used at sheet number 40.7 these are wired up okay so i want to see now that where is this contact so i have to go to sheet number 40.7 where is 40.7 mm, i'm a little bit ahead now so here you can find this is column number seven sheet number 40 you can find this f101 this contact is used here to give indication on cp30 control panel 30 of bay e01 so similarly you can track all the components so and where is this mcb now if you want to make a cross check it's at 10.2 so i will go back to my drawing so similarly you can find another as ecmcb which is used for uh, ac socket thermostat humidity sensor and temperature sensor and you will see you can see this when the set is uh, above the set value this contract will close and heater will uh, operate and this heater will basically uh, dehumidify the panel the temp it will increase the panel so the humidity or uh, will not uh, develop in the panel uh, this is to avoid uh, rusting in the panel so now you can see further ac supply is coming and then it's going through this mcb and further it's going to 21.2 so this is 2010 and it's going to 21.2 so where is 21.2 it's uh, 21.2 this is 20 this is 21 so it's it's coming now from you can track it is 21.2 this is 2 so point 0.2 it's coming from sheet number 10.7 this is phase this is neutral and it's coming to here dc failure lamp i will explain this and dc supply mcb okay so how, how it is working 
and this is very simple when this is fail this mcb will or will be off which is actually off now and this relay will pick up when this relay is pick up this contract will close and this light will, will lit uh, normally in the station you will find that uh, ac supply failures or feed through dc circuit or dc annunciator and dc supply failure annunciation is done through ac supply as you can see here okay so this is our ac circuit now i will uh, show you dc supply distribution uh, this circuit basically uh, this panel is feed from two dc supplies uh, and this is coming from dc1 by source 1 and source 2 uh, and this is the DC selection scheme through contactor. So another option is you can use bridge here, rectifier bridge here, but here the contactor is used. <coughs> How is it is working that if both supplies are available, just understand the healthy condition. The DC will come here, it will energize K14 and K14 will close uh, these contacts and open these two contacts. It will close 5 and 9, 6 and 10 and open 3 and 11 4 and 12 it means it will cut off dc2 and when dc1 is available and dc2 is available dc1 will be fit to the panel so just in case now if dc1 is fail the supply will be fit through dc2 you can see now if there is no supply here this relay will not picked up and this is all this these contacts are also uh, shown at normal position normal means off position so it means this relay is off these contacts are shown in off position so dc1 is also not available at all so dc2 through normally close contact it will be feeding the main circuit here you can also if you want to track how many auxiliary contact this contactor have and we are used you can see they are used at 20.3 and 20.4 on the same sheet in fact this is 20.3 you can see two contacts are used and 0.4 just to go to the column 4 remaining two are used here so this is DC selection scheme then we can go next this sheet I have already explained uh, now we will come up to the uh, CT and VT circuit offline differential and distance protection uh, okay you can hear you can see this ct diagram uh, the ct is coming from lcc and it's coming to x1-11234 here you can find the shorting facility uh, and uh, why this is available here uh, we will discuss in in, in short time uh, this is the terminal test block basically test block facility it x87 l.1 and these are 21 22 uh, this is the the, the CT circuit is going through test block and then it is then connected to line differential relay so first of all the purpose of this point is if you want to do any maintenance replacement of relay testing of relay you have to short if the uh, if the feeder is live then you have to first make shorting otherwise if CT circuit is open at any place CT circuit should never be open it will in induce high voltages which will be resulting in damaging of CT and the CT circuit or the relay so this you have to take this precaution always first have to short the CT circuit if the CT is live and then you can do any testing here or any maintenance further you can perform now uh, what what is the purpose of this plug is e this is just like a socket uh, you will insert the plug in it this is uh, test block so when you will insert the plug the plug will isolate what it will it will isolate 21 and 22 so these two fingers will come open so I will tell you the the odd side you can see one side is odd one is even odd side is yard side the, which is coming from yard or switch gear, uh, switch gear even side is a relay side so if you want to test the relay first of all make sure that you have to, if the CT is live you have to make it short and then you have to connect your Omicron or a secondary test kit to 22, 24, 26, 28 and then you can inject the current and you can test the relay uh, this is the main function of the test block 
similarly the vt circuit is now connected to the relay and it is also feed through the test plug vt circuit should not should never be shorted uh, and ct circuit should never be open so this is the basics of production so everybody should know it and this is another uh, diagram and this is another binary this is another vt input is connected to the relay here you can find channel 1 and channel 2 fiber optic from far and ct so this is uh, fiber optic uh, because this is a line differential relay so fiber optic will be connected to the relay there are two type of fiber optic channels single mode and multi mode so we will be discussing this in, in detail in our maybe in next few uh, next lecture uh, where we will discuss line differential and this is the ct circuit for the uh, over current relay uh, here you can see uh, another thing you can observe here that they make the star point of ct and lcc so this is important that there should be single point grounding available in the ct circuit and you you can uh, you always you have to open the uh, thing and check the single point is okay or not the rest of the circuit is similar to distance relay uh, this one is auxiliary supply production for the relays okay so uh, it mean what does it mean it mean that and the plug uh, is 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 uh, uh, there is a cover of the plug and the and one one is the plug itself so when the when the cover of the plug is removed the supply will also will be cut off and this is the uh, if you want to if when you are doing testing you have to make a jumper uh, 13 14 13 14 and, and 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 if you want to and then 15 16 15 16 so they what they have used two plugs to energize uh, to test the f87 relay and in both plugs you have to put a jumper and then this relay will be energized similarly is the case of f51 when we will see how to make a uh, testing so further we, we can discuss this item then we have a push button here and then we have a two lockout release uh, resetting coil this is electrical reset of the lockout so what is a lockout relay when any production operates uh, and say we fault the lockout relay will operate lockout can be trip and lockout or lockout only lockout means it will not allow breaker to close unless it is reset from the panel okay now we will see here that these are the binary inputs of distance or at line differential relay so information is feed to the relay through by energizing binary input for example cv status either it's close or open line vt mcb trip is it stripped or not for example how this relay will uh, process this information if line VTMCB is stripped the production will be blocked so this is one example I have given you how the relay will process this uh, after that you will see bus bar MCB trip and other different um, signals permissive and race transfer trip PUTT channel 1 and 2 so carrier faulty okay so then we'll move to the next page here you can see more signals strip circuit one healthy two healthy and by the way you can configure these signals in the fault records and always you can find a status of cb when the fault occurs you can see in that case that dc1 tc1 was healthy or both were faulty so it is always helpful to diagnose the fault here this is uh, another relay over control relay and all the binary inputs are spare here we'll move next to the trip signal and trip circuit status so here you can find lockout relay f86 one 86.2 and then trip circuit one healthy unhealthy and trip circuit two unhealthy here you can see the f87 relay binary output is giving trip signal to uh, 86.1 so and this is the test plug okay if the test plug is not inserted the supply will be through this contact and then it will be coming to 86.1 when the tripping will occur the relay will give trip 
command and the contract will close and 86.1 will operate and lock off so when you are doing testing you can take the time uh, you can stop the timer if by connecting your set stop uh, timer command to 2 and 4 again the even side is basically the relay side and the odd side is yard or energized side similarly is the case of 86.2 and then you can see trip circuit 1 and 2 unhealthy relays giving signals so we will move to the next page here this is trip circuit 1 here you can see the van this is basically the breaker compartment this is the local control cubicle this when this coil pick up breaker this coil will hit the plunger and it will open the breaker so here you can see when 86.1 will operate it will close this point dc will be coming from lcc and this will be passed through touching panel then again it will go back to lcc and it will be operating this dc1 okay and this is the 51 52a and b so if breaker is open then this contact will be open and if breaker is closed then this will be closed it means that uh, it, if the breaker is open it will cut the dc of dc1 to save the coil so we can see further more from where more trippings are coming to the tc trip coil off breaker so we can see it's coming from another contract of the relay c01 c03 another card another output and then it's similarly disconnected through test plug where, where this one is coming connected directly then you can see another tripping of coming from over current relay these are all jumpered another stripping is coming from bus power production panel okay here it is a trip circuit supervision relay which is monitoring the healthiness of trip coil and trip circuit respectively uh, we will discuss this separately how this is working and this by the way is very simple okay then we can see here supervision lamp for trip circuit one healthy so they have also put a lamp in cp30 panel control panel 30 that uh, you can immediately watch the healthiness of trip circuit okay next is trip circuit 2 which is similar except that it is uh, trip circuit number 2 the, uh, the features and the uh, uh, schematics is same next you will move to 132 kv uh, relay panel plus rp3 bf initiation so how bf initiation is working it is uh, when the relay distance or line different uh, uh, distance or over current will operate it will initiate you can see that this is the bus bar production panel it will give for the initiation to the bus bar and it is also through the test plug so when you, you can make a stop timer through this plug and you can measure the time and check the behavior of contact next we will be checking ar close block and permissive signal the scheme is provided but this overhead line it's not overhead line it's a cable feeder so uh, er scheme is not used it is provided maybe for feature use so you can see here this f87 there is a built-in ar uh, ar in it so it is giving close command okay here you can see uh, f it is 6.1 and 2 is coming from control panel cp30 uh, the basically closing pulse is coming and it is going back to uh, further to lcc for close command if uh, any of the lockout is uh, uh, operated picked up so uh, this closing circuit will open and breaker will not close so if you have to reset the lockouts before closing the breaker or uh, closing the path of close uh, circuit uh, this point is permissive signals uh, you are sending now uh, for example uh, PUTT signal send uh, you can config you have to configure this contact and you will have to connect to the PLC it will go to the remote end similarly uh, CB synchronization 
command can be given through this uh, line, di line differential relay and distance relay the feature is available okay uh, next is alarm and annunciation this is also relatively very simple you can see different contacts are connected to control panel if for example this supply fail this relay will pick up and it will give alarm to cp30 if distance protection is healthy this is the watch talk dog contact which is a default contact in the relay automatically it will be closed if the relay is unhealthy so 11 will be operating it can be in the case of hardware fault uh, or software fault or non availability of supply this all will be covered in it so similarly you can find other unhealthy signals and uh, ac supply failure signal that we have discussed are connected to cp so how is it working this basically solid supply solid dc is called up which is coming uh, through any bus or something is coming from cp and going back to the cp so this is how it's working next page you can see uh, another more annunciations uh, which is coming to cp30 e01 so these are coming from f87 these are uh, basically the relay cell relay is a programmable relay is very flexible relay you can con uh, configure uh, you are configuring through some uh, basically formula or uh, some variables logics boolean logics so we will discuss this one uh, in detail when we are discussing cell relay in future so similarly some more contacts are connected when for example when zoom one will operate this contact i have i will configure has to close and the annunciation will be appearing to control panel so further we will go next this one is relay panel rp3 trip circuit blocking so in case the trip circuit is blocked so this is mean it's unhealthy so annunciation will be going to lcc okay next uh, this uh, is showing that these signals uh, are connected to through fiber optic to ic system and a15 interface this is the latest new uh, uh, interface uh, and and the signals are connected from relay to to the scarf uh, this control center through fiber optic so these signals are mentioned here just for information next you can see here as uh, we discussed on sheet number 90 whenever checking the equipment list operators list so they were showing on sheet number 90 you will find distance relay uh, detailed diagram so if you want to see where these uh, inputs are connected so i can go to sheet number 25.7 sheet number 25 column number 7 and you can find where where is the source for this uh, circuit similarly if you want to see where are these wind input feed from so you can go to sheet number 31 so if you want to see where is specifically any output is used so you can go to the relevant sheet so in in this way you can track the complete relay similarly 51 all the connection diagrams are given and similarly trip circuit supervision all the uh, for example this contactor auxiliary k1 so where the contacts and where where this different type of uh, auxiliary contacts are used so you can re read easily so this is f86.1 and 2 and you can find where are these contacts you can find in the in the scheme this is the test block so you can find information about the test block where this uh, points are used uh, this point is the basically general arrangement front view so you will find where which relay is installed here this is also very famous uh, and very important and this is the general arrangement and here we are, now we have completed our uh, video regarding uh, control and protection so if you have any questions or if you want to have more uh, detail about specific item 
so you can always uh, give in comments and i will uh, keep you guiding uh, regarding this part so in future i will be discussing some some parts like cb circuit breaker uh, fa failure uh, protection scheme and the uh, lcc scheme so uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, keep in touch uh, thank you very much for your time and and and, and uh, i wish you best of luck for the next videos